So welcome back to the Arduino Robotics series. Today we're going to learn how to actually make this uh, robot. We're going to give it a little bit of personality with this OLED right here, this screen. So to do that, we're going to, you know, of course, learn how to give it different faces. You know, angry, sad, looking left to right. To give it a little bit of personality, we're also going to learn how to show some messages, bitmaps. We're not going to learn, but I'm going to give you a tutorial if you want on that. And that's how I did stuff like this. Welcome back to our amazing journey in building one of these amazing cars. So, yeah, we got a Bluetooth servo motor, LED, we control them via the Bluetooth. We're not going to use the circuit. Today we're going to focus on learning how to use one of these OLEDs. These screens are, uh, well, they're a lot different than you might think on how to use. So we're going to figure this out. We got two of these. There are two different types that I have, though there's a lot more than these two types. One is black and white and larger, the other one is blue and yellow. There are multiple there are more colors than blue and yellow for these screens. Uh, the one we're going to use on this project is this larger one that is black and white. It has a name, which you'll see below. Uh, you have to be sure to use this specific one. If you use one of these blue and yellow LEDs, the code will not work for them. Also, the size matters, so make sure you have this exact one. I'll try to put a link to Amazon for this exact screen because the code won't work for the other screens. Just straight up. So yeah, this is different than what we built last time. So, if you zoom in on this, or we zoom in on this by holding closer, you can see that it has a Four pins there. You got ground, VCC, SCL, and SDA. We don't care what the technical names of SCL and SDA are, but we do care about how they're hooked up. So VCC is five volts. Ground is ground. So we're going to need another ground pin on the Arduino. Uh, SCL and SDA both go to uh, analog pins, I believe, four and five. So when you're hooking up these wires, right? Yellow is 5 volts, so we hook it up to the 5 volts here. Black is ground, so we hook up ground here. Uh, then I don't remember which of these is which again. So you have SDA and SDL. I'm just going to say SDL is A4, and if it's not, we'll switch them. And SDA is A5. Again, I don't know if that's exactly right. If this doesn't work, when we upload the code, then we'll have to swap these pins. We're going to go ahead and hook this up now. So we know, again, black was ground, right? So take black, find a ground pin on here. It's right there. Stabify it in. Ground stab. Uh, five volts. Five volts is set the ground right there. So it's 5 volt yellow wire goes 5 volts. Again, wire color doesn't matter, just stay consistent. If you use an orange wire, where my yellow wire is, the orange wire to go 5 volts, etc. I use yellow those yellow wire 5 volts, done. So now we have, you know, yellow wire 5 volts, black wire ground. Now we need these two. So I don't remember which pin of these is which. Uh, so I'm going to put the blue and analog pin 5. And the green and analog pin 4. There we go. So these wires, I don't remember the exact order for these two. If they're not, if we upload the code and this screen right here shows static or blank, you know, like old TVs when they show that black and white pepper static screen, that means that these two wires are backwards and we would swap them. A uh, picture of it wired up for you. So this is the code we're going to use, right? This is code that you will, well, you won't get this exact code, but you get something very similar from uh, the link I have in the description. I modified it a little bit to make it simpler to explain. A lot of this, I don't even fully understand. I found a great guide from Adafruit. If so, I'm going to put a link in the description. I also found a great guide from, uh, what were their names? Mm, 
these people have a great detailed guide. They go in way more detail than I do. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to them as well. I mean, feel free to like check out other people. I'm just, you know, trying to get people to do some cool stuff. But um, for this project, we're basically going to use some setup from those links, or you could just use my code and modify it. So this stuff all up here is including libraries from Adafruit, and all of this down here is just getting the screen to set up and connect to our Arduino. Again, I don't fully understand all of it. I looked up a lot of guides on it because I was really confused. And again, this screen matters. If you're using the wrong size or the wrong kind, this code will not work. I found other code that will work, but like, it's very like hard to find guides on some of these screens. So like, help each other out in the comments. Leave a comment if you can't get yours working. I'll try to help as well. It's just, I'm not an expert again. More of a hobbyist. <laughs> So going through this code, uh, you know, you have the screen size here, so that's our screen size, and you have it set up up there. And coming down here, this is completely where I just started coding things myself based on what I can figure out. You can draw shapes, you can upload bitmaps, like the Rick Rowe picture or whatever you wanted, all through coding it here. So this is the code that's going to matter for our project. As you can see, unlike the code you might find on the link on the Arduino website that I have, I've commented out all of this. This right here is commenting out this stuff. Commenting out means this code will not work when we upload. The computer will see this code as a comment, so it doesn't run it. This is a great way of editing if you ever wanted to test code and then take it away and see what it happens when you take it away. You just comment it out. You use this little star, you know, uh, forward slash, star backward slash, to comment out sections of code. I mean, no, it's still forward slash, not backward slash. But yeah, you do this to comment out sections of code so that it doesn't run. And if you didn't want to delete it, right, you still have it around. It's a quick way of just editing code rather than having multiple save files. This stuff down here are uh, called functions. We call these functions up here and do various things with these functions. You don't have to program this way, but it's very convenient to do this. These functions were gotten from the Adafruit example code. So I've taken these functions that Adafruit has provided and I've modified them with my own little instructions up here. So angry eyes. For angry eyes, I just have two triangles being drawn, just set distances apart, and I adjust their sizes. So basically, in this code, these codes, you can change the sizes and the locations of triangles, circles, squares, whatever you want, and show them on the screen. So this first set of code right here, right, angry eyes, this will create two triangles. It makes the triangles this color, which is white. This is a black and white screen, right? It's either going to be black or white. So it's going to make them white. It makes them a certain size certain size, these 16s, and a certain uh, distance. This distance is right here, these 12s and 112, the 16 and 108. If you change that, you're changing where the triangles will appear on the screen, but not their sizes. If you change the 16, you'll, appear, you'll change the shape of the triangles. That will go to the 56, 72, and the 36s here and here. Same thing for the circles, right? You got where it's going to be located on the screen. Then you have its radius here. This affects how big the circles are. If you change this, you'll get smaller circles or bigger circles. So to demonstrate this, let's uh, upload the code. And luckily, this time, there's no Bluetooth, so I don't have to unplug it, so I just can upload the code. Yeah, there it is. So this error right here, right? It can't. There's no device connected to COM9 right now. So you, when this happens for an Arduino, you want to go up here to uh, Tools, click Board, rather not Board, but Ports. See this port? Arduino hooked up to COM5. So you want to switch that and then hit Upload again. If nothing shows up on the screen, right, the screen right here, then that means uh, we have to swap 
the green and blue pin. Well, that's not promising. So we're going to probably have to swap the pins. So let's swap the pins. Reset the board. And there we go. So now you can see the uh, eyes, right? We got triangles, we got circles. That's great. That means it's working, right? The code's working. So again, if these if it doesn't show anything, then you want to swap these two pins. Assuming you hooked up these pins correctly. So let's go and play around with the code now, right? So like I said, this is the radius of the circle. So if we change this, we'll get smaller circles, I think. Unless I remember that wrong, but let's find out. So we're changing this eight, right? Roughly half. So let's see if those circles, the circle eyes are half the size now. Let's find out. Yep, there we go. So this changes the shape of the eyes, right? Now maybe, maybe you want to move these to a different height, right? So right now they're halfway in the middle of the screen. Let's make that a fourth, right? They're going to be a fourth of the screen's height now, right? So let's move the eyes, the circle eyes up and see what happens. There you go. See, look, they moved up, right? So we've reduced the height to a fourth. So it seems like the bigger the height, the smaller the height number, right? Because we have divided by more, the more up it goes. So we're going to return that back to the middle by dividing by half. And yeah, that's how you can adjust these shapes and move them around the screen to whatever you wanted. Again, that should be 16. That's too small. And you can play around with these values and draw different images, uh, draw different shapes, move them around the screen. I found eyes very simple, so that's what I use for this project, although you can do a lot more of these screens. I'm just scratching the surface right now. Uh, if you want to use one, I highly recommend you uh, just modify my code or use the tutorials and modify their code. And I hope you do something awesome with this because this is really cool, right? I think it's amazing. Like, right? so cool to have a little, gives a lot of personality to a project to have actual eyes or a face or whatever you want to put on it, right? 